he did a great job out of the strike zone. He made a couple mistakes up in the zone with some, you know, a couple of off-speed pitches. But I mean, Jason did, did what we needed him to do. And uh, uh, two runs. I mean, just couldn't, couldn't get anything going offensively. Right. Uh, Stan started off his homestand so good, uh, then finished it that way. Anything that you've seen that's really kind of precluded him from maintaining, you know, certain consistency? Um, um, no, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm watching him for the first time this year. And, and uh, you know, it seems like his, you know, he's, he's got hot, but uh, just hasn't really been able to sustain it. And, and when he, you know, the times he's kind of gone into some, some funks, it's, they've been <coughs> some sustained funks, you know, for you know more than three or four games. So uh, yeah, I mean, he's just got to keep plugging along, and, and uh, you know, obviously we need him, and, and he, when he hits, he changes the lineup. I mean, that's just that's just facts. Even when you guys haven't hit, it seems like the you know you haven't struck out a lot either. Strikeouts seem to be mounting up these last two days. Has that been uh, you know somewhat disheartening? Um. You know, I think I think our lineup is is you know it's scrappy. We're, we're, you know, we for the most part we've been able to, to, to uh, put the ball in play, and, and, and you know we're not getting a ton of hits, but we're making the most of our, our hits. Seems like when we get guys in scoring position, you know we'll get a big hit and, and keep the game close. And, and really, the last two games we have, uh, you know, or really today we didn't, weren't able to do that. Yesterday we, we came back, but uh, we had some opportunities in this home stand. We'll just keep battling and, and go out there and, and you know, continue to improve, and that's all we can do. What was working for Casimir today? Well, he had a good fastball. He had good fastball command, and he, he uh, you know, we swung, we swung at a lot of pitches. You know, we, we were, came out aggressive. We didn't hit a lot of balls hard, but but we came out aggressive, and, and uh, you know, he he moved the ball in and out like he always has, and, and uh, he pitched, he pitched, pitched well. We just we were just never. We're talking past that. Your pitchers, do they feel like they have to be perfect? I mean, is, 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 is getting to them because they seem to be pitching on the whole. Yeah, I don't, very I, well. I don't think they think about that stuff. I mean, you, you can ask them, but I don't. I think they go out there and do a job, and that's to, to keep to keep our team in the game, and, and that's all. That's all they can focus on. And I don't think they're worried about, hey, I got to be perfect. I got to be this. I got to be that. You know, they're going out there doing their job, and, and uh, you know, our offense. We got to do our jobs offensively as well. And if we do that. We got a lot of wins. Uh, our guys have been, our pitchers have, wow, I mean, pitched great, tremendous. And uh, uh, we just cannot seem to get uh, them to support they need. But we keep fighting. Red, what was the highlight during the ceremony before the game? Uh, you know, I think <laughs> it's just seeing the guys, you know, seeing all the guys. After, uh, a couple of those guys I haven't seen for a long time. They're probably, you know, Brian Banks, and I haven't seen probably since 2004. It's good to see those guys, and you know, I think the little video, you know, just remembering the, the there's a, a few things there I had forgotten when I until I saw them. And like what? Just you know, Derek Lee Bunting, number one. <laughs> 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 I don't remember that. <laughs> that was a terrible bunt, but uh, <clears throat> of course it worked, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I think just get you know getting the guys going, it would have been great if we could have got everybody here. But uh, you know that's tough, and, and uh, I, I think another highlight is seeing all the guys' kids. You know, and when we were young and coming up as players, most of us were just starting families, and, and uh, our kids were—I know my kids were just a year old and two years old—and and, you know, Brian Banks got his his kids, and Mike Ewell's got his kids, and I think that's the neat part is now seeing guys you know, married and, and with families. And, We'll always have that bond, and, and I told guys all the time this. I know after we won that, it was so hard to, you know, when I went to the Twins and, and guys, you know, Mikey went to the Red Sox and everybody kind of spread out. It was so hard to compete for me to, to play against those guys. And and I really had, I hated playing against Mikey. You know, Mikey's one of my best friends. And I, I hated because I, I just couldn't root. I just had a tough time rooting against him.
you know, um, and all those guys. That was that was tough. But with, like now that every, you know, almost everybody's retired. A lot of guys are retired. It's it's great now to, to get everybody together and you remember those days and how special that team was and you know how much we cared about each other and still do today. I mean, we'll we'll have that bond for for the rest of our lives.